Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's been a minute, fam. <laughs> Say it's been a minute, fam. So this, oh, look at these little dookie jones. I'm crying. Okay, so it's been a minute since y'all seen me. I think it actually was uh, March 31st. And today is April. Hooey. It's, it's two weeks later. But that's my business, okay? That's my business. We are in our kitchen. And our living room is a hot mess. And our dining room is a hot mess because we getting our carpet replaced we getting our carpet replaced so long story short the previous owner had two really big dogs and of course the dogs shed hair pretty bad and she was dirty she was dirty just say it for what it was she was dirty she never cleaned up her dogs peed everywhere she slept with her dogs i wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised if she kissed her dogs in the mouth you know she yeah, yeah, she probably was one of those type of people. But nevertheless, the carpets were fine when we moved in. Like, we kind of smelled um, that a dog or a couple dogs had lived here. But it wasn't that bad. Um, our landlord got the carpets deep cleaned for us professionally. And it was fine. Oh, but somebody said on the Sabbath day. It has been getting really, really hot here in Oklahoma. And we believe that the dander has kind of been lifting from deep within the carpets and causing allergies. And me and Zuri can't have it. We can't be sneezing. We can't be having snot and all of that. Like, mm -mm, gotta go. So our landlord is replacing our carpet for us and we're so, so excited about that. But then also, guess what else is happening? We're getting our living room furniture. <laughs> oh, and our nightstands. Oh, we have to alter our plans now. For what? Remember, I said, oh, it is coming. Anyways, <laughs> tomorrow our, um, well, three out of four, three out of four pieces of our um, couch is coming. And we're really excited about that. So, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I can kind of show y'all a little bit. I don't really know, though. I don't want to disturb them. Yeah. Wave to one of the guys, say hello. And then here's our living room, guys. Beds and all the things. So yeah, we'll keep you guys updated. We've been juicing lately, baby. Slim waist, summer 2023, okay? Slim waist, well, I don't know if the boobs gonna be perky cause you know, breastfeeding, but slim waist, fat booties, all summer 2023, tight calves, tight quads. We getting it together in the couch household, okay? Um, yeah, we about to juice. I could show y'all a little bit of that. And then what else we're doing? Ordering. Oh, we finna get us some Chick-fil-A breakfast because that's our business. Okay, bye. To the great one. All right, family. Today is couch day. No pun intended. <laughs> we are maybe T minus 20 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes from getting our three out of four pieces of is my nose look like it's running off oh, the ghetto? Okay, we are T minus 15 to 20 minutes from getting our sofa. Um, we're getting three, three out of four pieces um, first. And that is on its way. And we're excited, right? Zuri's been having a rough time. Don't mind her tears. She's okay. She's tired. Um, but yes, we are going to be getting our couch soon and continuing to finish out, I don't know, like, what, what would you call it? 
decorating the home, um, filling the home, making the home home, ultimately. But yes, stay tuned for more. Kamaya's cooking show. We are in our beautiful kitchen and someone has blessed us with a Pampered Chef Deluxe Air Fryer. Who did it? Because I don't remember asking for an air fryer and I don't think Jalen said anything about us needing an air fryer. So if you sent this to us, thank you, thank you, thank you. We really appreciate it. We're actually gonna cook with it tonight. But first, we are going to unbox it to see what we have. Considering it's the deluxe air fryer, I'm assuming it has a couple gadgets that maybe the regular one didn't have. But um, we're gonna find out. The box is definitely a little taller than me, but it's fine. We're gonna figure this out together. So we're gonna open this up a bit first of all let's talk about this chicken and i'm assuming that it has a rotisserie setting on it boom i was right air fry bake roast rotisserie reheat dehydrate custom rotate dehydrate so you mean to tell me that we can make some beef jerky because don't you dehydrate meat to make beef jerky is that a thing no okay i don't know um, we have this beautiful field goal thing. I'm not really sure. Baby, can you take a look and make sure that I'm in frame when I'm doing this? Mm -hmm. So for starters, we have um, field goal sign. Not really sure what this is for, but I'm sure we can figure it out. I think I'm gonna just throw all the plastic and we'll just deal with it later. This is a beautiful cooking manual. Um, oh, excuse me. Deluxe air fryer cooking guide, not a manual. Excuse my English. Um, let's see what else we got. Don't be talking about me being on my tippy toes. Mind your business. Oh, we have some more little things. I'm assuming these are going to go with the field gold situation too. Maybe these are, oh, you know what these could be? The little things that you poke in the chicken when it's like on the rotisserie. Maybe that's what that's for too because it said it had rotisserie settings on here. So maybe, yeah. What do y'all think? I don't know. We'll read the guide and find out what else we've got. Oh, yeah, guys. I think I'm right. I think I know what I'm talking about. Because look at this. This is a little... Don't this look like you can put a chicken on it and spin it? Yeah? I can't hear you. Does it look like... It? I think it does. Maybe I'm wrong. But if I do it and my chicken come out good, then I'm going to know something. We have beautiful styrofoam. I'm assuming this is for like high level protection. Um, we're probably not gonna use that, but you know, thanks for that. Um, I didn't think this all the way through considering that like, it's probably as heavy as I am. I'm gonna pull out the stuff that's on the side and then we can go for like the bigger part. Um, ooh, it's giving rack. <laughs> rack Rack City is giving the, you can place your food on something. Um, is this not the cutest little frying pan um, breather situation thing? I mean, what do we call these? Frying pans or <gasps> shelves? Maybe they are called shelves. It's giving shelf. It's giving air fryer shelf. Again, plastic cardboard. 
we recycle on Thursdays here in Norman. So guys, um, what do you think is the best way for me to get this John out? Because I'm, I'm just, you know, hmm. What if we lay it down on the side and like slide it, scoot it out? Cause I don't want to break it, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna just, oop, oop. we're gonna do that. And then, maybe if we just pull the plastic, you know? Who's smart, who's smart? It's me, it's me, it's me. Guys, this is so pretty. Done with the box, y'all. Y'all coming over for dinner? Because, baby, look at this, John. Oh, look, it's so pretty. Look at the knob. Mm. I'm hungry. You know when you get like new things in the kitchen, you just want to cook? That's not me. <laughs> I'm just hungry. And um, we're definitely going to use this. Oh, I forgot to show. That was the plastic to protect this. Um, this is the plastic for the cord. Oh, maybe I shouldn't pull that like that. Two got scissors, huh? Boom, boom. There we go. That's that. Um, where's Zuri when you need her? I need her to help me clean up. Um, so we've got, I'm going to lean it forward so you guys can see. We've got this little situation on the top. Um, I'm assuming that that's the fan. You know what I mean? Because it has like little holes on the side. So let's just say that that's what that is. We're going to rip off these joints here. Because... They just look like rip offables. Is that a word? Rip, off? rip, rip offables? I don't know. It's a word today. Um, that's that. Now let's open it up and see what we got in here. Um, how do we open it? Ooh, y'all. Mm. Did you see? Y'all. We got some some stuff inside too hold on hold on i'm nervous to kind of pull that oh we got another rack these racks are doing it for me honey it's doing it for me what are we putting on the rack is this the chicken joint y'all i think this is the chicken joint look it's giving roly-poly it's giving, put that chicken in there and let it roll around. Y'all, have y'all ever used a rotisserie before, like in your house? Who bought this for us? Because y'all about to take our cooking to a whole new level. How do you open it? Pull this little joint. Look. Remember I said that that little piece where it go? Remember I said there was something that you put the chicken on and roll it around? Boom. You think that fit in here? Boom. And it do. I was right. Look, y'all. We could put some chickens in here. What's that? Looks like some plastic or something. Or maybe not just some chickens. What else could we put in here? Oh, this is so amazing. So we got that part. This kind of looks like the catch catch table thing. I think when you just, you know, you don't want it to drop on the bottom, the grease and stuff like that. That's really pretty. It looks like it'll be easy to clean as well. Um, These little pieces look like, these look like buttons. Maybe I could take the door off to clean it or whatever. Y'all, this is nice. You know how Tiffany Haddish be like, oh, this is nice. 
this is really nice we are extremely grateful so if you are the person or couple or family or whatever who sent this to us thank you thank you thank you so much we are going to cherish it um we're actually going to cook in it tonight i think i said that already but i want y'all know how cooking in it goes and like how i like it because this just elevated my life um yeah i don't know maybe i'll record what we cook tonight maybe i won't and that's our business but thank you whoever sent this thank you thank you thank you First of all, hey family, um, it's bath time right now, so y'all just gonna have to, whatever. So today was my first full day as, what would we consider this? Like, just going for it? Five. This is my first full day of doing it by faith. Is that what I even want to call it? Um, I don't know what I want to call it, but today was my first full day of basically content creation and also like being a mom full time. Um, but this like being my job essentially. And I don't know. I have so many feelings, so many emotions towards it. And I just want to first of all say I'm just grateful. Like after having the first full day of like, this is what I want my schedule to be. This is what I'm able to work on. Um, tending to Zuri in between. I'm just blessed. Today, I feel complete gratitude. It's day one. There's going to be some days I probably ain't going to feel like that. But um, my takeaways for today are like, girl, you got this. Girl, you can do it. It ain't as hard as you making it. You got this in a bag. Like, if I had to say, Kamaya, what are your takeaways from your first full day um, doing this full time? It would be those three things. And I'm so grateful for y'all that are even watching. I'm grateful for those who send me those texts of encouragement like, I ain't seen a video. What's up? What's happening? Or even those that are kind of just like, uh oh, baby, you okay? Even those of you who are kind of like, okay, Kamaya, what's your niche? Or what should we expect from you? Baby, I don't know. Because I'm doing this by faith. Like, I'm, I don't want to say that I'm blindly doing it, but I have no idea what's going to come of this. I also don't even know, like, what direction I'm going in and that's why I'm grateful for my best friends because they are holding me down and also holding me accountable to like don't just be out here aimlessly just doing stuff like if you are good at this if you enjoy this yeah if you're good at this you enjoy it and you want this to be like your thing we can make it happen but we need some direction we need like some objectives and so this week um, I kind of just kind of been in and out with it, but with today being my first full day, I'm blessed. I'm grateful. I feel empowered. Um, and I'm also excited, like deep down in my, in my Shondo, because it's not my belly. It's like in my Shondo. Um, I know that this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So, here's to greatness, here's to consistency, here's to doing it by faith. I'll talk to y'all soon.